Hey guys, it is Rachel Feldman. I'm really excited to just show you a few simple ways to grow your list using your opt-in freebie. So here are your downloads right here. Social media images, opt-in freebie, and a PowerPoint. So when you click on your opt-in freebie, you have your four-day jump start. All you have to do is click open, boom, there comes your amazing opt-in freebie. Edit that opt-in freebie, get going on that. That is step number one. But step number two is you are going to download this, of course, into the DOC version, and then save as a PDF. The next step that you are going to do is whether you use MailChimp or you use Mad Mimi, MailChimp is just an easy one that a lot of people use. You then need to go and create a list. So anytime, whether it's Mamimi or ClickFunnels or GetResponse or anything, you need to capture those emails. So step number one is to create a list. Step number two is to capture emails. Step number three is to have then a thank you email. That thank you email can be really easy, such as, hey, you're in, subject line, you're in. Download your guide, download your four day jumpstart. Thank you so much for downloading your four day jumpstart. I'm really excited to get to know you and to support you in your weight loss goals. Or, and again, this is niche specific. So, you know, go through that letter, make sure that you're really nurturing. The whole point of an opt in freebie is that you're nurturing the very person who is downloading. So, you can have a thank you for downloading, a follow up that can be three days later, and another follow up that could be three emails. This is called an email sequence. Make sure when you are thinking about your email sequence, what are you leading them to? Are you leading them to a one on one session? It's great to either have time trade. Acuity, schedule once, so that that person can be instantly accessed to your schedule and then set up an appointment. That can be done in the, you know, love your name. P.S. If you would like to schedule an appointment with me, click here. The second part of that is this can also lead people to your paid program. Maybe you're selling a detox or a cleanse or the gut program or the sugar program, one of the programs that you've bought from me, or maybe you have one that you've crafted. Maybe it's a four-month program and you want to really get people to your four-month group coaching. This is where you're nurturing. Again, a thank you, a, three, a follow-up three days later, and another follow-up. The best places to list build, I think, are social media. So if I were to go to Rachel's Wellness, If I were to go to Rachel's Wellness, I would be able to have the opportunity to list build here. Um, this, let's just take skinny black dress as an example. So right here, as you see, skinny black dress is what I have been promoting because it is our brand new opt-in freebie. So just like you, this would be your brand new opt-in freebie. So I'm going to say, hey, health coach, time to deliver a New Year's gift to your client. Grab the done for you challenge for health coaches and gift your client the most desirable gift. Then skinny black challenge, buh, 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 buy it, brand it. Now you will see here is the link. Now for you, it may be that you have a lead page. It may be that it's just a MailChimp or Mad Mimi or a Weber URL that you're leading them to, to sign up. You may have this as a blog post. Whatever that link that you are list building with, this is the link that you would put here. Again, you have your Facebook copy or your tweet, or this could be on Pinterest, or this could be on Instagram. Wherever you are list building, this is where you are going to insert. I can put here um, skinny black 
dress and then all of a sudden see the skinny black dress, different pictures I have. Again, key is this is how we tie into our social media. Whether you use the existing social media that you were provided or whether you make a new social media image, this is why I'm going to show you how to make a social media image. So again, with list building, you always have your Facebook copy or what you're going to put on Instagram. You have, you know, Twitter copy, which would just be shortened. This could, again, repurposing, download, you know, or buy the free, you know, buy this challenge for your clients. Um, here is the download or here is the link to buy and keep it under 150 characters. So right here, then I'm going to hashtag health coach. I'm going to hashtag my name, IN Takeover. And for you, this might be like weight loss or detox or cleanse or hashtag sugar, hashtag digestion, um, whatever this, whatever applies to your niche, and then I'm going to publish it. So when you're list building, you really want to think about the post that is going to appeal to the person that you are speaking to, your niche and your sub niches. So think about the different strategies. Again, whether it's posting in a group, some of you have free groups, so it's engaging with them. Maybe you're even list building with a live stream. Maybe you're list building with a video. So again, list building is not just with that opt-in freebie. You're using that opt-in freebie with the link or the lead page connected to your mail service, but you can do it through um, Pinterest, a video, a live stream, um, a webinar even. You know, in that webinar, you can say, join my webinar and you get this free gift. So don't think you're just limited to posting on Facebook or depending on Facebook ad. Think outside the box, the most successful coaches are doing this and you, my friend, are that. I will talk to you soon. This is Rachel Feldman. See you soon.